My kids thought this was hilarious when I first did it.
Jesus. Uh, I got it. stars. Yeah. 
be slick and get, get another red point out of the deal. Things gonna happen there. All right.
Playing is safe. Hello, Tazina. I didn't see you. Hold on a minute. Something has gone wrong here. Oh, I saw you. For some reason, I didn't see you. How are you? Thank you for coming. Uh -oh. I always wait for the clock hand to block the fireballs. I don't like it. All right. All right. So now I need to fight this camera. Welcome to my stream. It is a snow day. Um, finishing up. Mario 64. And, uh, I think I want to try and finish up Goldeneye. So I was working on Goldeneye for me. And, uh, I'm try something special. If I can find a proper SNES emulator to work on the buttons here, I'll have something special going on.
I should have a Mario hat. I would totally wear that first stream. around and lock up the whole thing. Wow. 
I'm pushed all the way off to the side. Aspect ratio is all wacky. Okay. So that was totally a failure. Alright, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Alright, so that's it for that one. Now we go up here. We go up here. Before the stream starts would be better. There we go. There we go. There's still a little bit of a delay, but you know what? I don't give a shit anymore. Um, that's all. Okay. Cruiser crossing the rainbow. And I'm dead. <laughs> things I try to do right off the bat. I'm preparing the cannon is one of them. I, I like getting all the, the 100 coin stars out of the way first. This was just such a pain in the ass. I'm 
Okay. All right. Because I totally jumped, but nope. I have such a mixed reaction to this level, course, whatever. Because it's the only one that the camera really works, right? But it's a pain in the ass because there's no ground. There's no ground! Stop chasing if you wouldn't if you'd stop playing that whole down music. Or oh, that chase music, that's what he says, chase music. I hate that you have to... <laughs> Hello! Minor Max, welcome, sir or madam. Thank you for stopping by. I hate that they make you go to that cruiser twice. That's bullshit, honestly. You gotta go up there at the end to get the other one from the only cannon in the whole level. That's crap. And then there's the... There's the other side of that. Uh, the magic carpets, man. I was just saying to nobody. Nobody was here. But I'm, I'm just whatever. Chatting. Chatting with my thoughts. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Miner. I do appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, I have a love-hate relationship with this level. Um, because excuse me. Um, it's the only, it's one of the only levels where the camera really works. I shall. I shall chat with you. 
Yeah, it's the only one where the camera really works. But you have to ride the magic carpet three times. I know that there are... There are alternatives. The speedrunners found all these crazy ways to do it, man. I don't remember how that crap that works. They run all over the place. The only one I ever figured out for myself is where you... Um, what I just did, where I can you can long jump off of the start point and you can bypass a lot of that crap. Boy, I don't know how they do that stuff. I don't know how they do that stuff anyway. Like, who even discovers that there is this crazy strat you can use? That guy's like magicians sometimes. Okay. It's... I've never played the DS version. I imagine it's almost identical. I mean... <coughs> I seem to remember watching a YouTube video where someone had... Um, they highlighted all of the differences. I think you cannot be hurt right there, but when you come back in and go underneath, then, then that's where you can be burned. Yeah, I imagine it's the same. I don't know. I don't know. I love Nintendo. I've been playing Nintendo since it was new. I'm an old man. I'm an old Really? No way, that's great. Um, so yeah, but I'm an old crusty man. So I, I'm I'm an old Nintendo dude from years back. Um I hate this part. I have gotten screwed here before. Alright. Alright, there we go. Sweet. Um See, I've been playing Nintendo, like, since it was new. Since, like, 1985. Okay. I don't know how those emulators work with N64 games. Anyway. Um, for all the cool stuff that Nintendo has done over the years, like, they have really done a lot of innovating. They've, um, they're never, they've never really been afraid to try new stuff. But at the same time, they pour a lot of resources into re-releasing the same damn thing over and over again. Hey, it's okay. I mean, I guess... Oh, really? Okay. Well, yeah. This is the same N64 I had. I bought this when I was... You know, when it was new. Um... Um, okay. That's probably because you're just a young whippersnapper. You don't know how hard we had it back in the old days. With eight bits and two buttons. You damn kids today. <laughs> you had to use your imagination to play and everything was only in two dimensions. Nowadays, you kids with your four and your virtual realities. <laughs> virtual reality is pretty awesome. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just playing the part of the old curmudgeon because I think it's funny. <laughs> Please don't. Don't yell at me anymore. Um, I think it's that one. Yeah, it's that one. Virtual reality is really cool. <laughs> it is, it's awesome. I love Zelda. Zelda's great. 
Um, my um, my favorite series is Metroid. That's why I never bought a Wii U because they never released one. Three Metroid games on the Wii. No, wrong. Well, sort of. Again, this is what I was just talking about because they released two Metroid games on the GameCube, none on the N64. Two on the GameCube, and then they released the third Metroid Prime and another Metroid game, other M, on the Wii. And then they went ahead and and they re-released Metroid Prime 1 and 2 on the Wii with Wii controls, which is awesome, I will say that. Um, that is Samus, yes. I, um, I've, I've talked about it before, but you weren't, you know. You're a newcomer, and that's fine. We will. Again, we're chatting. Um, I, um, I found Metroid by accident. I, I had some money in my pocket through a series of unfortunate events. Honestly, it's because I got hit by a bus. Oh boy, and I'm dead. <coughs> I got hit by a bus while riding my bike. The first one. You played the first Super Mario Brothers. Okay. I, I figured. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, listen, man. We're not writing textbooks here. <laughs> you are... You are... For... What? What word am I going for here? You are, you are entirely permitted to misspell and misplace letters. It's all good, man. It's all, it's all good, man. Um, so anyway, yeah, I was hit by a bus as a kid riding my bike. I was fine. Like, I was a little sore, you know. I got my ass handed to me, but it was, I was fine otherwise. Super Smash Brothers. Okay. I've never played any of the Super Smash. Oh, I played a little bit. Oops, oops. It's all good. See, I got hit by a bus. I was like 13, 14 years old, and I got hit by a bus. And the bus company, you know, they rushed me to the hospital, and they paid for my for my checkup, and I was fine. I wasn't really hurt. And But they gave me money to replace my bike. They paid for my hospital stay. It wasn't long. It was just for the afternoon. Okay. Try not to get hit by a bus, kid. <laughs> it's, I don't recommend it. It's not a great way of buying video games. <laughs> but I did not. It was a school bus. It was a school bus. It was a mini bus. See, the, the way that it happened was... <clears throat> the way that it happened was... I. It was a busy road... One of my friends had already... Okay. One of my... It, it was a busy... It was a very busy road. And one of my friends had crossed already on his bike. And so I was trying to cross also. And I looked to my left, and I saw what looked like his last star. And then I'm going to go and beat Bowser. Um, I looked to my left, and I saw what I thought was a bus... Turned out it was two small buses. So I saw a bus pass from my left, and I went, and then there was a car coming from the right. So I slowed down, and then I looked back to my left, and there was a second bus, and that's the one that hit me. Oh yeah, it's great. <coughs> so be anyway, because of that, they gave me money for a bike, and I went to Toys R Us. This is. This is a hundred years ago when dinosaurs roamed the earth. And, uh, Nintendo. When I, when I say Nintendo, I mean, I mean this. These guys were it. We had that, we had Stega Master System, and that was it. Um,. Anyway, I had enough for my bike, and I had a little extra cash in my pocket. So I went and I picked up Metroid, and it was just a neat little game that... It was hard. It's really hard. At first, you're like, well, I don't know, you do, and... Oh, okay. Genesis is cool, too. I like Genesis. I don't have one, but I like it. Um, 
But yeah, so Metroid is this weird game where you're just this person in a suit and you're shooting a gun and then you, you die fast. You have to collect energy and then you collect... You, oh, look at this, you get power-ups and now you can get to a place you were before you can get a little further from a place you were before because you got some kind of weird power up how cool this was in the old days this was 1986 or 7 I was yeah 1987 because I was in the 7th grade and um well that's true yeah yeah you didn't think about that kind of thing though I didn't even know it was a girl I mean that's the thing is you didn't you didn't know that there was no internet then. Oh, Jesus, I'm gonna die. Oh, that was charming. <laughs> Where am I? My God. That was horrible. Alright. Alright, I need some health. Okay. Now we're back in it. Let's do it all again. So, anyway. Um. Unless you beat it in an hour, right? Right. Well, I think I did it. I think I got... The first time I beat it, I didn't know. Like, I think the first time I beat it, it took a long time. The second time I beat it, or at some point, I think I got the okay ending where she takes off the helmet and you go, Oh my god, it's a girl. Anyway. Um, there was no internet, so if you wanted hints and tips, you either got had Nintendo Power and you got lucky enough that they told you about the game you wanted to figure out in the magazine. Or you talk to your friends over lunch and you just got lucky that one of them might have played the game. And that's how I learned a lot about me, me and some friends at lunch in seventh grade used to just talk about Metroid. I mean, like, yeah, if you go here, you get this thing. And it's just it's a screw attack when you jump and it'll... His missiles down this hallway, you know, it was like, it was that kind of thing, and that's, that's all we had. That's all we had. No, I've never played Chrono Trigger. I didn't know that that was a popular game until the last, I don't know, five, ten years. And apparently that's a very popular thing. I never played it. I, um, Chrono Trigger is more of like an RPG, isn't it? I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of RPGs. I don't dislike them, I just don't. It's not my go-to genre. Like Zelda is kind of as far as I'll go on an RPG. Um, I did play Paper or Super. Oh boy, Super Paper Mario. I think it's Super Paper. Wait, I have it. It's the one for the Wii. I can't. I can't see it right now. That's cool. Here's the thing. People like different things. I'm, I'm cool with that. It's just not what I like. It's not, you know... It's not a dig. Some people take that stuff very personally. I don't mean it personally. You like what you like. I want to remember what the hell that was. That game. Because I should still have it. Damn, I got that Simpsons hit and run for the GameCube. I'm just, I, I put all my games up here finally. So now I can see. Like, I think I'm gonna bring my Wii in here too at some point. Yo, I haven't played Twilight Princess in forever. I need to play that at some point. I can't see it. I have a, I have a, um, it was a Mario RPG. I liked it. It was hard. Or it was not that it was hard. I think I got frustrated at the end. Um, it was like a Paper Mario. Thousand Year Door. I seem to remember that. Is it, was that a remake? I'm not, I'm not aware of that. I believe you. Hang on. I need to see that. <laughs> I'm 
might have gotten rid of it. I think I got frustrated with it. I think the last time I was playing it, like, I was getting frustrated. Oh, what, Twilight Princess? Well, it's not really a remake. I don't, I don't know what you know of it. They sort of released it at the same time, because the GameCube... GameCube was on its way out, and the Wii was on its way in. So they kind of released them right around the same time. I, just, I bought the Wii version, because I... Actually, no. My wife bought me the Wii version, because she bought me a Wii for Valentine's Day that year. And I think it, it turned into a Valentine's Day gift. I think it turned into a Valentine's Day gift because she happened to snag it from the store around Valentine's Day at the time. It was so super popular that like you couldn't get your hands on one for months. Yeah, I really like it though. I haven't played it forever. It's neat how you change from um, you change from regular Link and then you're the wolf. Like that's really cool. I kind of forgot about that. And I played Skyward Sword probably twice. A lot of people didn't like Skyward Sword. I think that's kind of crappy. I think Skyward Sword was a fine game. It just wasn't, you know, there, 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 not, not to say there wasn't some bullshit. bullshit. I mean, it was kind of silly that they, um, it was kind of silly that they, they make you retread the same ground. Well, they make you go through, you go through the three areas, and I don't remember even what they are anymore, but they, you go through three areas, and then you get a thing, and then you have to go back through those same three areas. Instead of creating more worlds, you have to go back through the other ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it was, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. It was just, you had to retread the same area with different, with different, um, tools. But honestly, I don't, I didn't really see that as a failing. I think, you know, the internet's full of haters. People just love to hate shit. I'm gonna get burned. Missed. Oh, I got him! It appears that you and I will be the only ones to see me finish this game. Missed. You guys are going all over the edge. Oops. Where do you live, young man? So I have a 13-year-old child myself. Ooh, there he goes. <coughs> just gonna break it. Yep. I have a 13 year old and he was off. Both of my children were off from school today. Because of snow. You know, I appreciate you saying that. Because I was just saying that. I, uh, I recently played both. I played through Ocarina. Okay, I'm trying to get more followers. I'm trying to get more followers. So I, um. Oh, that sucks. So I, I've been playing the crowd favorites, and um, so I played Ocarina. I played um, I played Majora's Mask. I like Majora's Mask a lot better. Oops, I totally missed. I let go by accident. And I do like Ocarina a lot. I do. It's a great game. Um, I think Majora's Mask perfects a lot of what. What Ocarina tried to do. It's a great game. It's complicated, and I think a lot of people hate it. Oops. God, I'm terrible right now. Um, I think um, I think people hate on. Jesus Christ! I think people hate on Majora's Mask because it's a very different kind of game. First of all, there's no Ganon. Um, and there's also a weird time situation. Hold on. There we go. Just two. 
where the day keeps repeating over and over again. And I think that, I, I personally, I think that put a lot of people off. Because it is very different, and you need to... Yeah, I, I, and you know what? What's funny is... Hold on. Did I get it? Nope. Um, I did get some people... Some people going, like, the moon is creeping me out, and blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, I get it. You're not the only kid on Twitch. <laughs> I had some other people that were like, the moon freaked me out as a kid. Like, as a kid, I was 22 years old when that game came out. Mess them again. <coughs> Actually, no. I was 26 when that game came out. Am I gonna die? I can't believe I missed him again. Hold on, I gotta concentrate. This is ridiculous. seem to get the timing down on this. Oh my god, he killed me. I knew he was going to do that, too. He rushed me. <clears throat> yeah, I never played either one of those. There's so many Zelda games. I never played any of the handhelds. I had a Game Boy as a kid, but I broke it. Because I was playing Super Mario World. And then I was getting frustrated, so I bashed it against my head. And I broke the screen. Nope. I'm terrible today. it's been since I died on Bowser? Nice. <laughs> That's what we say to my kids. My 13-year-old boy will start screaming at the game. I, I don't blame them, is the thing. That's the thing, is I, I do it too. That's probably where I... Look, you, you alright? I learned it by watching you. Nintendo. 
It wouldn't surprise me. God, finally. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. They have, um... Like, I have my little girl, she's seven. She's got a tangled game. I gotta pee. Damn, you know what? I never went down and got the hundred lives from Yoshi. Oh, whatever, I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, I'll be right back. I gotta go pee. Okay, I'm back. Whew! Oh, wrong one. There we go. That's okay, man. Hey, thank you for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the follow. And uh, I shall be back again. Stuck on Aztec. I'm not stuck on. I did it on, on Agent. I want to do it on Double O Agent. That game is fucking hard. stream.
Shigeru Miyamoto. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Miyamoto. Thank you so much for to play in my game. Alright. I'm really kind of not looking forward to this. He's still alive. I hate this. 
level. Spidey sense is tingling. Trying to look at the stream. It's stupid. Chasing me, he'll come up here. I don't know, it's a tall ladder too, so we may clip out of it. I don't know, this. There he is. This game can be really wonky. Uh oh, is he down there? Nope. No fall damage. lasers.
I'm not gonna live. Never gonna make it. I will never make this. Have zero health. Yep. <laughs> there it is. This is on Secret Agent. <clears throat> you know, if I hadn't eaten shit in that card earlier. guys aren't going to come out. <laughs> Thank you. That does help. may have killed him. Didn't. Okay. Alright. Usually the guy back here. There's not. There's this guy. How you doing? Did kill him. Mm -mm. I'll we'll catch him. Kill him for ten.
He's shooting at me like it, as if I'm there. There's another one, where is he? God damn everything. Fuck the world. I should just start over. Oh boy. Oh! Oh, hello! <laughs> I don't even know where you came from. Where the hell is he? Dude, are you kidding? Jesus. Where? I need his key. Here it is. I'm not gonna make it. Yet again, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I should stop. I'm just gonna be disappointed. How did it not go?
was a bad time to reload. I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die in the same damn place. Yep. <laughs> I made it a little bit farther. toe-to-toe with jaws like that. <clears throat> Hold on. I need to get a little bit further. I guess if you go the other way, then you have to, as soon as you walk in that room, it's going to close the doors.
Bullshit. He was back behind the thing. That's why I didn't shoot at him. That didn't hurt me. Me too. too. Shit. I did not think there would be a dude there. What? I don't know why even know I just did that. I'm done with, I'm, I think I'm done with Bond. <coughs> Let's do, um... We're gonna shift gears completely.
let's see. stuff I gotta do. Hello, Wally. I'm, yeah, I'm changing games right now. Double audio? Okay. Let's see what I can do. I bet it's because... Let, Let me know, know if that's, that's better. better. See what I can do with it. Is that better at all? Kind of tweaking. Yeah, well, we kind of did a half day. Um, this is North Carolina. They, we don't get snow often. So nobody knows what the hell to do. Um, yeah, when it snows, it's madness. It's chaos. People are buying up all the bread. Yeah, it's chaos. That's better. Actually, you know what? I can go and do this too. It's entirely possible. It may be pulling audio off of my. Um... Okay, good. 
Yeah, yeah I, I think, think there is another setting down here for another microphone. I just turned it off. I got fed up with Goldeneye. I don't know. I didn't get fed up with it. I'm just discouraged. It's hard to get my ass handed to me. Know the story, dude. I got it. This is such a great game. Is there anything down there? No. I may, um, if I can figure out how to do it to where it's not, a, it's not a pain in the ass, I may be, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Kaizo Mario ROMs, ROM hacks, <coughs> I may be playing those, if I can find a decent emulator that'll, um, because the one I found that plays uh, on this computer, my streaming computer. I use Ubuntu, and um, it's just very laggy. Like it's not playable. I, I know how this works. Yeah, if I can find a decent emulator, I'll play some Kaizo Mario. Which, if you're not familiar, are these super difficult um, Super Mario World ROM hacks that um, not many people have successfully played them. But, I mean, I need to be able to, you know... There's a, there's a lag in, in input, so I need to be able to play it without without that kind of lag. I have no idea if I'm going to be capable of doing that. Six thirty here, I should say. That's right. I forgot you're you're in Australia. <coughs> so you're in summer right now. That's cool. Are you having a nice summer? Two more. Oh, that's it. 
That's it. That's it. Head for the goal. I don't know if you're familiar at all with this game. You, you, when you get a perfect scorecard, it, it all adds together. So if I get a perfect scorecard on every one of these levels, um, it opens up bonus levels where you can get more items, you can get more lives. And um, I, I think it's later, later on it becomes essential when you need... If you want to get other perfect scorecards, you need 30 stars. So you need some of these, not this, but you need some of these to have, um, um, some of the ones that give you stars. Oh shit, I got two lives right there. Nope. Two lives I'll take. This game is really generous with the lives. It's really just a big ass relay race of Yoshi's putting, getting through an area, and giving Baby Mario to the next guy. These right. really neat. They're kind of a pain in the ass, but they're cool. We go. I think you come back through this way. Oh, really? Yeah, because you're probably getting into fall now, right? Because we're just now getting into spring. That's the only reason I mentioned it. I would love to live in Australia. Okay, well that's nice. Yeah, I would love to live in Australia, mostly because... I have to check and make sure it's not a lot of people. Um, this country has gotten really stupid lately. I mean, it was always kind of dumb. <laughs> but now, holy cow, man. Never seen so many people so proudly ignorant. Whatever, I'm not gonna get into the whole thing. I'm just saying. Australia looks like a beautiful country. It looks like a country that, while it's it's got its issues, it's kinda got its head on straight. In a weird way. Oh okay. Oh, alright. All right. Yep. Yep. Oh, this one. Oh. I am fucked. All right. Because of course Yoshi turns into a helicopter. Why wouldn't he? Flower in here. Oh. Oh. Not gonna make it. Ah, there it 
was too. I tend to want to explore a bit before I, because you can't, can't really go back. I think you can actually. I'm, I think I'm wrong on that. I think you can go back here. Did it again. I'm so dumb sometimes. Alright. See, I knew there was shit up here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that should count. Damn, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, part of the issue with. <clears throat> with the snow here. I don't know how... I don't know... I... Uh, here's the thing. I don't know a lot about Australia. I assume it snows sometimes. Probably more in the southern parts. Um, but the... Three more. Um... But with here, nobody knows what the hell to do when it snows. Oh, that's great. Oh. Boom. Perfect. Oh, okay. <coughs> like, does it never snow in the southernmost part of Australia? I've never even considered it, to be honest. I, I've kind of thought about it, and I go... You know, it's like South America. Like, I assume it snows in South America in the southernmost point, closest to the pole. But I don't know. I don't... Okay. Oh, alright. So really just in the mountains. Neat. Yeah, here they have no idea what to do. Nobody has any any clue. And like there's never enough snow plows, so like nobody's Oh, okay. Is it like an event? <laughs> like this I mean, I don't know, and maybe maybe I'm wrong. It seems like my perception of Australia is that everybody just gets drunk when it snows because that's what I would do. I mean, I just like drinking. That's really cute. <laughs> oh, there's a key here somewhere. Oh, yeah. I really thought there'd be something up there. All right. People kind of do that here too. They take pictures of of their house. The, the old there's an older couple that lives across the street from me. Real nice people, and they um I've caught them out there. Oh okay. That's cool. This is not something you need to concern yourself with at the moment though, because. Because it's hot as bulls. Dick. See, that's the thing also is that, I mean, I'm from New York, the state of New York, not the city. Um, but yeah, there are, oops, 
like I'm used to snow. I'm not used to constant high temperatures all the time. That's the shit that drives that makes me a little crazy. I don't know, maybe I would hate Australia. I doubt it, but maybe I would. Maybe I would. Oh, damn, there's one down there, too. All right, I gotta go back. Yeah, that's a little crazy to me. That that makes that makes me a little nuts. Um, I should put that down here. And that's how it gets here. Is that I mean there are times it never cools down, it gets to I don't know. For as um For as much as I like to try to stay as international as possible, I can't wrap my head around a metric system, man. I'm sorry. But here it gets to, you know, 90 degrees at night, or, or, or 90 degrees during the day, and it'll get to 80 degrees at night. That's when I start getting mad. <laughs> Just I get pissed at everything. I get pissed at the world. Oh, oh. So, like, I really don't need all this. There's no red coins in this. I just do it because I don't know, because... go, bro. Oh, never mind. Never mind. There might be another. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Oh, damn. I never went to and got that key. I never used it. Alright, I'll go back. <coughs> I forgot I had that key for some reason, even though it's there all the time. B. Oh man. Why did I go back for this? I hate this one. And you watch when it's when it's close to breaking. He'll hold it for a little bit longer, and then it'll break from me.
taken. Oh, that's why, because the clock changed. You guys change clocks in Australia? Does that happen, or is that just an American thing? We just changed our clocks forward again for spring. It's just fucking me all up. Okay. So stupid. I mean, I don't know. Excuse me. Oh, when should I stop? Degenerate gambler. I could really use that plus ten right there. Stop. Mm -mm. I need the items. Oh, you're never gonna tell me what they were? Oh, screw you. It's the same thing here, I mean. And now we just change it back. So this morning, like I had started getting used to it being 7.30. Something right here, see that? I had started getting used to it being, you know, 7.30. Um you know, or, or light, it started to get light out around 6.30, and now it's pitch black. All right, that was pointless. Every bit of that was pointless. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Well... I mean, that is the advantage to daylight savings now. Oh, shit. Hmm. Like, now it's here at 7, 7 o'clock. I'm looking out there, and I'm like, oh, it's, you know, God, I'm starving. Oh, shit, where you go there? there? Ugh. And I look at, oh shit, it's seven. It's like, it's still light out. And I know, like, it'll all even out in the end. You know, once we get into summer, but still, it's just a pain. Get this shit up there, isn't there? Oh boy. Great. 
I always kind of do this because sometimes you'll get a little cloud that you can you can hit with a. There's a lot of them that are hidden. Yeah, it's got its advantages. I don't know. It's just it's, at this point in time, it's annoying. This time of the year, it's terrible. Oh, shit. Got for much longer. You know what? I'd like to finish up this level. I'd like to finish up this whole world. This is, <coughs> excuse me, this is technically speaking, Super Mario World 2. It's, uh, it's Yoshi's Island. What happens here is that, um, this is ba this baby Mario on Yoshi's back right there. Um, <coughs> kidnapped, I think, is the gist of it. And so Yoshi and all the Yoshi pals um, have to bring back Baby Mario. I don't know if they're bringing him back to his parents. I don't know that they've ever addressed Mario's parentage. Irrelevant. So you're bringing back Baby Mario. And it's just a big relay race. Where every Yoshi hands hands Baby Mario off to the next thing. To the next Yoshi. Boom. Alright. I like to get all the things. to go up to my the first mid boss battle um uh, actually I don't need that it's a very cute game it's a very fun game So I let the little goblins take away Baby Mario because uh, I want that 100%. As soon as you get hurt, you lose some stars, and I'm not interested in using items right now. 
I turned off the mic for the duration of Baby Mario crying for 30 seconds. Tell me if that worked. It should have. I know, I know it's annoying. People hate Baby Mario. <coughs> An EverDrive for your 64? I don't know what that is. Okay, yeah, I, I cut the audio. That's cool. The nice thing about this game also is that there's autosave on every, every every time you complete it. I think it is anyway. Cause I don't think I don't remember ever being asked to save. I think it just does. Music is really good in this game too. Like everything is good about this game. But, like even like the colors are neat. Oh shit! Okay. The colors are neat and the music is cool. It's fun and happy. And... But then it can get bleak and dark when it's supposed to. Yeah, I don't think I'm done forever with Goldeneye, but man, that Aztec is frustrating. It's not even that it's frustrating, I guess. It's fine, it's just... Ugh. I'm trying to get my ass kicked. It is, and the thing is, like, I'm getting my ass handed to me on <clears throat> on Secret Agent. Like, I did, I did finish it on on Agent. It doesn't unlock Egypt either. Like, I think it only unlocks Egypt if you beat it on Secret Agent. Am I right on that?
Nice. Jesus. All right. So there's there's not much point in playing it on Secret Agent anyway. I will pick it up again. It's just ugh. it seems like such a daunting task. Okay. Yeah, I did see that. It was like nine minutes or something. Even dying, I was... I was, um... I was over nine minutes. I really don't need the lives. and he hands them off. <coughs> hands them off to the next one. And it's such a nice, like, ramping up of difficulty, too. It's a very gentle... Holy shit, what? I did manage to kill Jaws twice playing on Secret Agent. I did it with the laser, which probably isn't the best strategy. Oh, look at this. Is there anything up here? There is. idea. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. kind of disappointing, too, because I really enjoyed Goldeneye for a long time. And I kind of don't want it to end like this. It's just so discouraging. Six eggs. Every time you 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 tongue an enemy, you can hold six eggs. Um, so um, damn, I should try that more. See, I'm trying it from from far back. What do you use? Do you use lasers, or do you use um, do you continue to use the assault rifles?
can actually lock what direction he's going to throw it into. And obviously this first level is very easy. These were a lot easier than the rest of the game. Okay. But even even hitting them with lasers, Jesus Christ. Like you and those lasers are powerful. That's why I went with lasers. But good lord, man. Like, you need to shoot him, like, 30, 40 times? It's insane. Oh, it's fine. I got all the coins. Man, this is so powerful. This is obviously they're trying to teach you. Boom. Look how neat that was. Finish this world and then stop here. I'm getting hungry. Okay. What level do you have to play it on to get the chi? Do you remember? Please tell me it's agent. It is. Shit, I don't want to do that. eggs give you stars. Hmm. Oh, that's actually 
get it. Fuzzy Get Dizzy is the name of this level, and if you touch them, it makes everything all wacky. It also makes it hard to platform. You can't hit him with the eggs, though, so, I mean, there's that. Uh... Why I just do that? <laughs> See what I mean? And it does wear off, but it's a pain. Look at him all drunk. Oh, oh. Tripping balls, man. I have a feeling one of those eggs. I'm not going to get a red coin. I guess. Screw that, we're gonna do this one again. I wanna get that five. I forget where they are, but I'll find them. And you have to get everything too, you can't just find the five that you didn't get. all that crap back there, but I didn't, I didn't investigate this. Get out of here. I forgot.
guess I may as well. I don't want the goddamn key, it's a thing. Alright. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, that's. That would have been the smart move. I don't really know why I didn't. That. Uh, just a leaf. Um, excuse me. Oh, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. You don't lose coins by doing that. It just you just kind of it's got to take some more time while he sobers up. So that was the last one of those. I had nine before, didn't I? Alright, so don't go through there. Until you know you have all the damn coins. Well, there's there were a handful of them over there. Ooh, did they not come back? Oh, wow, this is great. Or will they come back when I... Yeah, there you go. I didn't want to do that. The problem is the turbo button. Oh, look. I can't go back up here. Yeah, the problem is the turbo button... Not the turbo, but the... You know, it allows you to run is the same one where they use your tongue. So... Oh, you know what? I think there's a secret. I think there's a secret of some kind over here. Nothing up there. Or did I just play an old mess it? Or is it past it, possibly? No. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There it was.
Yes. Is that a good idea? One second. I think we're ordering pizza, but I'm not sure. I do like pizza. <coughs> okay. I found that totally by accident. I don't need the lives. There are 23 lives right now. Like, I'm good. I'm not going to play for much longer. Sweet. Alright, one more, and then I get a bonus level. And then uh, um, another another bonus level where you can uh, you can get more lives and items. Nothing in there. How about here? Nothing. way first. Bang. You dick. That's the mid ring, so it'll save all the stars I just got too. Sounds good. That's a good thing. I'll come down here, and I'll take that, and then we go. We go. I'm just looking. It's a thief. I need 
twice. Every checkpoint, every time you go through the middle ring, you get um, ten, ten of those little stars. His eyes are bigger than his body. extra one and then I think I'm gonna if, once I get through this extra one I'm gonna stop for the night
fire the rocket! I may have missed a red coin up there. Nah, I'm done. I'm gone. I'm hungry. Um, thanks for coming. Thank, Thank you to all. all my new followers. Um, I will see you again.